guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to show you how to achieve this gorgeous curly hair crochet method so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching So I'm going to be using this old cornrow. So I'm taking my Jamaican black castor oil mixed with my coconut oil. You know, I gotta make sure my hair is nice and moisturized or whatever. I prefer using like old cornrows when I'm trying to do some curly hair, you know, just cause I want it to look natural. Like it is growing out of my scalp. You know, that kind of situation. Okay. So I'm going to be using this Lulu Trace braiding hair. And this is 18 inches. This is the water wave. It is color one. Okay. Black, jet black. So I'm going to be using two and a half packs for this entire look guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to show you guys how i'm sectioning the hair so i'm taking one strand at a time and then i'm sectioning that strand into three pieces guys okay so i wanted it to be really nice and natural anyway so i'm going to be using this basic crochet needle so what i'm going to do is i'll place the crochet needle in open the hook take the hair placing it on the hook and then closing it pulling it out so I'm going to secure the hair three times before I pull it out. So I'm going to go in once and then I'm going to twist my finger and then just go in again and then twist it again and then go in the third time. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And then I'm going to pull it just to make sure it's nice and secure. So the thing about this hair, it's really silky. So what you want to do is you want to make sure it is really nice and secure. So tying it three times is really nice and secure. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys again, you're just going to place the crochet needle in, open the hook, take your braiding hair, placing it on the hook, pull it out, and then you're going to place the braiding hair in. So I'm going to do once and then I'm going to twist my fingers and placing it in again. And then I'm going to twist my hand again and place it in again, guys. So I'm going to do this three times. That way it is really nice and secure because I don't want to do all this. And then you guys, it just unravels by the end of the day. I was still talking, sis. Have you subscribed to my channel? Don't forget to turn on your notification button so you do not miss out on any uploads because this channel is getting what? Juicy! Yes! Today's shout out goes to Miss P to the world. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for all the love. I really, really appreciate it. You are a real one today. Okay, sis. I do like parting my hair in the middle and on the side. Most of the time I wear it on the side, but you know, I gotta have a middle part as well. I just wanna show you guys, this hairstyle is actually versatile as well. You can rock this anyhow. You can rock it middle part, you can rock it on the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys how to do the parts, uh, how to make them look really, really nice and natural. So this is what I'll do. I'm just gonna place the crochet needle in, open the hook, okay? And then I'm going to take the braiding hair, place it on the hook, and then pull it out. So I'm gonna place one of the strands in exactly the way I'm doing, and then I'm going to be securing that twice. It's gonna give you this natural illusion kind of look, like it is actually growing out of your scalp. That's the whole point when you flip the hair, it is actually going to look really nice and neat or whatever. <laughs> So I like using old corners because I feel like when I'm doing curly hair, I want it to look really natural, look like it's growing out of my scalp. So that helps. If you want it to look realistic, real natural, like it is your actual hair, you better let the corners stay in for a week or so, sis. Okay. All right, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to place the crochet needle in, open the hook, take your braiding hair, placing it on the hook, and then pull it out. And then you're just gonna place the crochet hair in exactly the way I'm doing once. And then I'm going to twist my hand just exactly the way I'm doing and then place it in again and then twist it again and place the hair in again. I just wanna make sure I do it three times. That way it is really nice and secure. That way it does not fall out of my hair. You know, this is more silky than, you know, just using Kinecolone kind of hair, guys, okay? You don't wanna do all this installing and then a couple hours later it is falling out. So if I had to just tie one, Sis, that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's just gonna, you know, just gonna unravel. So I 
like wearing my hair on the side part as you guys already know anyway so i'm gonna place the crochet needle in open the hook take the braiding hair placing it on the hook pull it out So I'm gonna place one of the strands in exactly the way I'm doing, and then I'm going to be securing that twice. And then I'm going to pull it just exactly the way I'm doing. So this way, when you flip the hair, it actually looks like, you know, it is growing out of your scalp. It doesn't look like, you know, it's crochet or anything like that, sis. This hairstyle is actually versatile as well. You can rock this anyhow. You can rock it middle part, you can rock it on the side. It is actually really cute and it's so soft, it's so light. Oh my gosh, I don't feel like I have anything in my hair at this point, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys again. You're just gonna place the crochet needle in, open the hook, take your braiding hair, placing it on the hook, okay? And then pull it out so once you pull it out you're going to take one of the strands guys and pull it in what i'm doing is i'm just going to secure the hair twice and then i'm going to pull it just exactly the way i'm doing very very simple guys oh my gosh i mean i feel like this is one of the easiest like easy hairstyles that i have done like anybody can actually do this just gonna place the crochet needle in open the hook Take your braiding hair, placing it on the hook, and then pull it out. So I'm gonna place one of the strands in exactly the way I'm doing, and then I'm going to be securing that twice. So once I secure it twice, I'm going to pull it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take the Diana brush, just gonna brush the edges a little bit exactly the way I'm doing. This is giving it, you know, a natural kind of look to it. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my um, Kiss Edge Fixer and make sure I lay this baby hair assist a little bit, just, you know, so that it looks really nice and clean or whatever. And then I'm gonna take my scissors, just gonna cut the flyaways. I'm not gonna be framing my face because I'm gonna be rocking this hairstyle in different ways, guys, okay? Anyway, so once I'm done, I'm just gonna take my uh, mousse. Just wanna make sure you know the curls are popping. Damn bad, bad, when I tell you, these curls came all the way through. I'm living for this big hair, don't care kind of situation, sis. <laughs> These curls are popping. Yes, honey, I am loving this hair. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it because this is coming all the way through. <laughs> come on, Christmas Eve. Come on, New Year's Eve. We are out here in the streets looking all kinds of cute, honey. You can rock it up. You can rock it down. You can actually do a whole lot with his hair right here, sis, okay? And this is why I love this curly hair because it feels really soft. <laughs> anyway, so you know me, I gotta make sure I give you some styles. I gotta show you how versatile this hair is. This is coming all the way through as well. Let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. Let me know if you think this is a cute style or whatever. <laughs> If you love big hair just like me sis you should go for this style right here and this is 18 inches it took me an hour to do this and i actually got this from amazon so i'm gonna put everything in the description below okay because i got you sis thank you guys so so much for watching my videos thank you so much for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for all the love i cannot believe we are here today let's get to 400k because baby at this point it is up from here make sure you share this with your cousin your bestie your mama and your aunt because sharing is caring and i will catch you guys in my next one bye